Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Welcome back. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please do it, like, share, and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome back. Welcome back to House of Virgo. How are you guys doing? What is going on? Let's see what your drama is. What the drama? What's the saga? The next installment of Virgo's <laughs> dramatic love life. All right, let me see here. If you want to get a personal reading, you guys, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you straight to my booking site. Let me get myself situated here. How are you guys? Hello, everyone in the chat. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe in the video. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. And if you're in the super chat, I mean, if you're in the chat, you always can donate with a super chat donation. And if you have, and if you do, thank you in advance. All right, Virgo, this is a love reading. So please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate for you guys. So take what fits. Leave the rest. Okay. Nine of Cups. Ooh. Hmm. Somebody's like, how come every time I start a reading, a notification goes off on my phone? I, it's almost like it's a sign. It's almost like you're being like signaled here. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get this so it doesn't keep happening. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like a vibration. So, okay. What's starting off here? Somebody here is... Um, <laughs> they're like really feeling pretty damn good. They're feeling full. Like they ate too much. If somebody like ate too much, went out to eat, ate too much. Okay. Oh, my cards here. We don't want reversals unless they pop out. Okay. Let's see. I feel like somebody is, it's kind of like, um, you sit down to a big meal. Somebody here sat down to a big meal, had an, and this could be symbolic or actually literally, figuratively or literally, sat down to a big meal, is finished, and now they're like so stuffed, and they're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> um, I just feel like there's somebody that you're connecting with or you're connected to or you will be connecting to. Um, oh, okay. They just gave me this message. Somebody... Um, this person maybe got some news that they they better get their health in together like i don't usually do medical readings or anything like that but there could be like they have a little too much excess weight and if they don't get their they don't shed some of the weight or get in shape they're like their organs things could go bad that's just the message that i'm hearing weird weird how these messages start off okay okay somebody might be um this could be, I just heard it could be a fitness trainer that you could be connecting with and they might be helping you get in shape. Um, you could be a fitness trainer. They might be paying you, paying you money or receiving money. Okay. These are weird messages. What the heck? It's always drama with you guys. Oh, there's that king of swords again. All right. Let me see. Let me just get this love stuff going on here. All right. So there's definitely, all right. Somebody might be having surgery or had surgery or will be. There's definitely communication coming in here. Um, somebody's struggling. Uh, struggling over the fact that it feels like you guys are in separation. Or um, if you haven't met this person, you could be meeting this person while you're on some type of like, um, it feels like a physical journey, but it's like emotionally exhausting. Okay. This feels like a fitness, <laughs> this feels like a fitness trainer thing. So I know some of you are gonna be like, Oh, I'm going to go get me a fitness trainer pronto. <laughs> I'm just picking up this energy. Okay. Um, so there's definitely love, like some type of, like somebody mm, wants to help you or they reach out to you. Um, you're not very motivated. And, but I feel like if you meet this person, you may meet this person in November. Some of you might be getting like a really good shape. You may not be motivated to like get in better shape. Um, for those of you who are in that energy, 
But I feel like when you meet this person, that's going to be your motivation. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll be there. I'll, I'll, I'll go there five times a day. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. <laughs> this feels like new. Um, okay, this could be, some of you could be meeting a um, someone in the health industry or the fitness industry who is going to be um you know it could be at your gym it could be at the hospital that somebody could work in the health field medical community that kind of thing helping people with like maybe a nutritionist somebody might be a nutritionist okay oh mental health codependency addiction counselor or like somebody that deals with addictions okay Love yourself first. Let your friends help you. Wow. <clears throat> Some of you might be going, you're doing something in your life. And um, wherever you're reaching out in whatever way, this feels, you guys, listen to me. This feels like a new energy. Wherever you are, whatever you're involved in, okay, health, uh, fitness, mental health, spiritual health, whatever you're involved in, I'm seeing someone kind of showing up here is maybe like a mentor is going to help you okay and i feel like this person at some time like they were in bad shape and they got themselves in really good shape and they took their um, old habits and now they're teaching and they they, they they changed their old habits and gave themselves new habits and now they're helping other people and i feel like you're going to be one of them I don't know who the heck who the heck joins a gym in november you know people i mean personally i think that's the best time to do it i think it's the best time to really be watching what you're eating and, and stuff because you go on the holidays and everybody's picking out you know so uh, some of you might be like hmm i need to like make sure that i don't like stuff myself or um just overdo it during during the holidays that that's kind of because i feel like a lot of you probably do take care of yourselves especially as virgos because virgos usually do take care of yourselves but i feel like a lot of you are like okay i need to like ramp it up during the holidays so I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not looking like santa out here <laughs> hell i could be the one dropping off the gifts just put a wig on me because i'm putting on so i'm not talking about me i'm just euphemism saying anyway be like oh i'm just putting i put on like 20 pounds like put a wig on me <laughs> i'll drop those gifts off no one will know <laughs> okay um so let's take a look here uh, there might have been somebody here or it could be somebody you could be meeting who um you know had like addiction maybe they were over drinking or some type of addiction they're coming to the end of that so I, let me just tell you real quick you guys there could be coming in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Scorpio. Okay. Um, and that doesn't mean that it's not your person. If I didn't call their sign, it just means that's who's showing up here. But we're going to take a look at energies. Somebody's put an end to something and they, they've turned their lifestyle around. And they're actually using the... It's like sharing their experience, strength, and hope. The stuff that they did before that was bad for them, they're now... Um, they're now better and they're actually helping others and making money they're making money they're making a profit okay show me this death card here okay yeah Ooh, five of wands this person might be like in some kind of this feels very competition-ish like a like a fitness competition or they're doing something because i feel like whoever they are they used to be very um pudgy quite pudgy or just kind of lazy or someone who just would you know indulge could be like weight gain um in the reverse it is but in the upright i feel like this person is like changing that about themselves now like they're shedding weight they're getting healthier they might have been really lazy they might have in the past were just looking for quick results to lose weight you know like taking pills and stuff like that but i feel like They've learned from the past, and now they're just making their all, all, everything heal for themselves. Okay, so some of you, you know, you're going to be connecting with this person. 
some of you already okay some of you may already be communicating with them and for others um this definitely feels like um in oh they're giving me hold on oh it could start up next week this week coming up may have already be, may have already beginning some of you might have already jo uh, joined uh, some type of program for better health mental health physical health um, you may have a mentor or a trainer um, some of you are kickboxing or just boxing um, there's fighting energy with the five of one so some of you are like maybe some taekwondo or you're punching a bag and if you're not you you may start doing that in November to get in better health better shape okay yeah to get moving a lot of you are gonna pay somebody to help you come out of your comfort zone and this person I feel like I'm seeing like two people teaming up like I, honestly I like right now I'm not seeing like oh you're gonna get married in November this feels like you're gonna meet somebody this person may be helping you to get into this because this person is really like loving themselves they're really they have high confidence they're really to the point this could be somebody who's like in military male or female who's like very regimented and disciplined um, or it could be you but there's an energy like going back to school and getting retrained I feel like a lot of you are gonna struggle a little bit with your self-esteem with that in regard to that I feel like you can't keep up um, with some new skills that you're learning in whatever area this person is going to be showing you um, teaching you or helping you some of you have ended past relationships okay with like maybe toxic or just very bad relationships some of you came out of those and now you're like getting in really good shape like you're really taking care of yourself you know and uh, I'm not putting like all this emphasis on the physical you could be doing this like getting mental health getting stronger in that way i feel like all aspects you know you're you're you got to go to the spiritual gym the mental gym the physical gym you know you got to do all that to get strong so some somebody here is like i don't know hiring someone to help them and that's what I feel. Three, three of Pentacles on the bottom here, as well as right here. So there's definitely an energy of learning some new stuff here. Okay, this is learning something. Let's take a look here. Going back to school, getting some training, going in the gym, getting like a fitness trainer, or doing um, maybe competing in something. It's really great. I feel like a lot of you, okay, you have the Four of Swords. So this is really good. This is part of your healing. It's just like some of you are just renewing yourselves, recovering from a bad breakup or something that ended. And I just heard some of you are like, I'll show that MFR. <laughs> You're like, I really feel like you guys are getting in shape. I, that's really what it feels like. Um, and I think that's awesome. You know, you're watching what you're eating. Maybe you're changing, switching out your foods. You're just, you may not even be going to the gym. Maybe just some of you are just starting to walk or run with a friend or just really get your health and get yourself ready for the holidays, I feel, which is really awesome. Okay. Trying to make sure. I, I do feel, um, that this person is coming in to help you they see that you've had some kind of like mental restrictions that have prevented you from um, being able to accomplish some certain things it's kind of like imprisonment right maybe you had a food issue or maybe you have an issue um, like a physical issue but mostly this is like it's usually mind over matter but it's the negative it's that your mind is 
the obstacle. Like you are your biggest obstacle always. It's never anybody else. You can, you can do what you set your mind to. And I feel like some of you have been struggling with loving yourselves first. And I feel like you've got somebody coming in here who's going to help you get back on track. Okay, now listen, this is a love reading. Please show me if there's any love stuff going on here. Oh, the emperor is here. Okay. Well, this person, for you guys, this is a male or a female that's going to help you get into boss mode. Okay, the emperor is basically like someone who has a very commanding way about them taking a leadership. So this person, male or female, will be helping you take a leadership role in your life, like pushing you to your limits more than you've ever been pushed before. And I know some of you are like, oh, I have been put. No, this person's got a strategic plan to help you get to like so high up raising the bar for you to reach so high up than you've ever been before that you're almost untouchable <laughs> this is bizarre okay wait this is i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna see was there a past thing here because i saw communication coming in let me see was there a past person or what's going okay yeah you guys you guys walked away from something. Are you temporarily, like you said, that's it. Nope. Time out. I'm stepping away. I'm going to do me. And you guys right now are doing you. And you have been. You're really focusing on your goals here. And you're not, you know, like you're walking away from some kind of relationship. You don't, you're like, I'll be back when I'm ready to come the F back. Like you've moved on. You've abandoned something that was unhealthy. You just said, no, nope, not doing it. I'm withdrawing. Loving myself first. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys, if you left a relationship and you're like down in the dumps, just get outside and start walking in the fresh air. Start doing some, taking the tiny steps. If you're, if you're not already, if you're not doing that yet and you're just sitting around, um, like take some initiative. Don't just let the time waste or pass you by. Go out there and, you know, start getting yourself physically, mentally, spiritually healthy, you know? So how, what does that look like? You know, if you're, if you're working out at the gym, you're walking through the park, you know, you're listening to uplifting music or sermons or me, <laughs> or you're um, just whatever you got to listen to. That's just stuff that's going to fill your brain. You got to change some tapes and get that positive vibe going in your head that you're listening to. You listen to one person who just lifts you up while you're working out or whatever and but you're out in nature or you're around other people you got to be in that atmosphere not you can do it at home but you just you got to get in the zone and i feel like a lot of you walked away from something in the past or you just ended something or somebody forced you to end something or they ended it with you and it's been like a struggle for you guys to just get yourselves you know back up on the horse here okay king of pentacles in the reverse um, difficult for you to follow through. Definitely. The King of Pentacles reverse has no follow through. And the reason why is because King of Pentacles in reverse, when he's like that, he or she does not have a game plan. You got to have like a strategic, you got to like map it out, calendar, put some like mini goals, set some goals for yourself. I feel like you got somebody coming in here is going to help you with that. You know, Let's see. Okay. Yeah, there was definitely a situation that happened in the past that um, somebody wasn't following through with you either. The Four of Cups. So this kind of feels like to me, somebody just was like, yeah, I don't know. Did they lose interest? You know, or they just were indifferent or felt indifferent to you. I don't know what happened, but I don't give a fuck because you guys are like, uh uh. <laughs> I'm making myself better. So I want to know more. Who is this person coming in? Who is this person? So it could be an Aries, could be an air sign. This is somebody new. Okay. Well, they got the Four of Cups too. 
Oh, no, they don't have it. They, ha they see it in you. What somebody did to you in the past, the way they treated you, you wound up feeling that way about yourself. They were indifferent towards you, treated you that way, and then some of you became indifferent towards your own feelings and towards love in general. I feel like, I don't know if this is a lover. I don't know that this is a lover. <laughs> right when I said that, page of cups, okay. All right, now listen. For some of you, there is gonna be some flirtation and part of that's gonna make you feel pretty good about yourself. You know, you could, listen, um, we're not looking at sex or gender here, okay? Like I said, it could be a male or a female. Some of you guys just need to get a female uh, workout partner or someone that's gonna assist you because you guys need, you know, not all of you, but some, I don't know, I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not gonna deep dive into that, but there is message, there is communication. There are like flirty messages. You guys might be texting back and forth, you know, or what changing the schedule or coming in and, and stuff like that. Um, but there's like, it just, th this is an energy of new love. So there's a good feeling, okay? Um, this person might even be volunteering extra time to help you. You know, even though they make money, I feel like this person makes money at it. They might have actually volunteer extra time to help you or do extra things with you. But I, I definitely feel like something starts happening here. Something starts happening. And I feel like this is meant to be happening because this is like somebody coming in it, it feels like this is everything that you wanted from your person, like the support um, and the encouragement and the love. This person left you feeling like you weren't worthy. And you've got somebody new coming in here. Now, it doesn't have to be like an actual fitness trainer. It could just be somebody that you connect with while you're out doing you, okay? So, you know, they could be like your opponent in a boxing ring and you're just jabbing them left and right <laughs> you know if there's some type of playful energy this could just be someone who's on the you know the i don't know the treadmill like five treadmills down from you this could be someone at the front desk you know of a health club or um where you go do a reiki se session or if you go to yoga or you do some type of physical activity there's a spark of love that comes here that's happening here and this person, I feel like, gives you a lot of attention. Um, they flirt with you. They're very sweet to you. They help you with things. They're attached. This person is attached to the new you. They're attached to your growth and your glow up or your power up. Okay. Let's see. So let your friends help you. So I feel like this person is coming in to help you. Definitely. You guys become friends, but then just like a spark of love. Okay. And I feel like this person, um, they're, they're hesitant. We have two hesitancy cards here. They're hesitant about taking it far, far fast, mostly because um, there might be legal ramifications to that. Maybe because there is... A professional uh, contract between you that gets like signed or money paid or something like that um, so I feel like when you're connecting with this person I feel like you're gonna feel the the flirtation and the energy like that but I feel like this person's gonna be gonna try to keep it friends for a little while just maybe until the professional aspect of the connection uh, is finished you know <laughs> now this person may not actually have you sign um, a start and finish date so that they just can keep contact like staying in touch with you um, they might try to prolong it I just heard okay wow I cannot believe the king of pentacles is showing up again now for some of you I just have to tell you um, I mean this person is definitely as time goes by as you guys start spending more time together, I feel like they're really gonna 
consider investing with you here. But I also feel, you know, the Six of Cups in the reverse here, your past person um, is thinking about you. And um, somehow or some way, uh, they're still stuck on you. And, you know, this is so strange. Um, this person is kind of like stuck in the past. They're still living in the past. They have unrealistic expectations. But I feel like they're kind of watching in some way or somehow. Oh, well, we're not diving into the past because you guys, you know, if, that, if this person is watching you do better and feel better and you have better things going on in your life and you're looking good and you're smelling good and you're feeling fine and you know, all that, well, so be it, you know, what are you going to do, okay, but I feel like this person who's going to be helping you out, you know, there's definitely a romantic attraction here, um, and the more you grow and come into yourself, the more you begin self-respecting, the more romantically attractive you become to this person, even though they're helping you, they're seeing the changes, and they're also like, okay wow i mean they're watching you bloom and they're help they're helping you bloom but they're watching you bloom and they're seeing like oh my gosh virgo hot damn <laughs> you didn't look like that when you walked in here <laughs> but wowza you know like the spark cupid's arrow is not supposed to hit right away i feel like all this is supposed to play out first and then it hits Okay, but it's not just the physical, it's also like the emotional or just the way you're carrying yourself as you go through these changes. You guys are really putting in effort um, and really like investing in yourselves. Maybe you're doing, um, what's that? Let's just say CrossFit. Some of you might be doing or starting a CrossFit program. You might be lifting weights, you might be, you know. Uh, some of you might be taking some martial arts classes or somebody might, you know, empowering. It's all about the power, like the physical. And then for the, um, and even the gentle physical, you could be doing yoga or Tai Chi, like in the park with the 80 year olds, you know, or, which actually Tai Chi is a very dangerous um, martial art. Um, but you always see those people in the park going real slow, you know, with their Tai Chi and everything. <laughs> and <laughs> they could probably kick all of our asses. So... I definitely feel like you guys are, in, you're embarking in something here, it, even if it's just like going to, this could be a nutritionist, or this could be, uh, like I said, this could be an acupuncturist as well, you know, look, I <laughs> just got that, how crazy, let's see if Cal can pick up her cards, look, you could be just laying there, this is from like the top view, and like there's all the pins and needles around, there's acupuncture, Okay, that could be going on, or maybe a massage therapist, like something's going on. A little happy ending. Okay, let me see. But again, like I said, this person, I feel like they are a little hesitant. They're not going to make their moves. Wow, justice twice. They're not going to make their moves right away. Okay, they're really hesitant. I mean, I feel like this person wants to do the right thing. And the right thing, um, I mean, they're definitely looking at like, the cause and effect of what's going on with you you know like the way you came in and the changes you're making and the effect it's having on you and the effect it's having on them okay and i definitely feel like um this person just wants to keep things even keel but eventually i feel like they're gonna come out uh at some point let me see okay yeah they're gonna come to that crossroad here the two of wands okay they're they're so i just heard they're going to be uh very patient with you and i feel like they're watching and waiting they want to make sure uh, so it's basically like waiting for your results they want to see what comes up and comes out you know um i feel like they're they're more focused on helping you and making sure that you feel at your your best and your top best for whatever goals you're trying to reach but this person starts acquiring feelings for you that's what i feel like is going on here okay 
I mean, some of you are like, I am not, no, I'm not, I'm staying home and I'm just gonna eat cake, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't want this. Okay, that's fine, you don't want it. It doesn't, and listen, please do me a favor. Don't not go and better yourself because there's a chance you might have an admirer. If some of you are uncomfortable that with that, you can always say no to that, you know, and just switch it up and go somewhere else or do something else. Always put your health first, okay? There's the world card here, making huge change, definitely. And this person, I, I feel like it's going to be like November through the holidays, um, where most of the changes, like three months time, you know, like our November, December, January, I feel like coming out of 2021 and starting in the new year is really when your love life is going to pick up with somebody here who's helping you through something. All right, let me just see. I want to see what your moonology message is. Wait, they just said to me, they said, wait a minute. For some reason, I know you guys are probably not going to want to hear this, but they wanted me to tell you, I'm just going to pull a few cards because I know there's some of you that want to hear the past person because I feel like your past person is kind of like stuck in the past about you and them. I don't really feel like your past person has moved on. Even if they're with somebody else, I feel like they're stuck on you because you've moved on. All right, so what does your past person want you to know? They know that they crossed the line with you. Okay. They bury themselves in work to forget you. Yeah, this person's really miserable. They pushed you away and then you went and did better. And now they're miserable. And, and see, they still want you. And they're wanting you even more. So if you guys are like going forward, start really getting yourselves up to par. Um, man, put that shit everywhere. Be proud of yourself. Don't do it because you want to try and get somebody back or you want to make somebody pay. Don't do it ever. Never do it out of revenge. Just live your best life and show that you're living your best life if that's something that you want to do, right? I wish I had treated you better. See, there's a, a lot of regret happening here because I feel like Virgo, Virgo, listen, you guys are the ones who are like, okay, that's how you're going to be. Um, this is how I'm going to be. And that's how you guys just do things, point blank, period. You do not wallow, chase, beg, scratch, claw, ever. And if you have, you've definitely learned your lesson or you are. You guys just turn things around after something bad happens, like you go through what you go through. I just see you, listen, if you guys are thinking about joining some kind of physical activity to get in better shape or mental health, or seeing someone to help you um, get mentally stronger, maybe a spiritual counselor for some, you know, or just really making changes, um, doing some studying or getting learning some school, like really just upping your your the raising the bar on yourselves and setting high goals for yourselves. Do it, 100% do it. This person cannot stop thinking about you, and they actually think, well, they love you, and they think that you guys will be together again. Now, for some of you, I will say that you've walked away. Is it permanently? This is a card of temporary separation, okay? So for some of you, no. Some of you have just put this person on the back burner and you said, you know what? I can't be focusing on this. It's draining my energy. I don't have time for this. I've got to get myself in a better place. And some of you are just, you, you know, you're going after your ninth cup which is the nine of cups here. You're going after your wishes. And I just kind of feel like a lot of you have pulled your energy away, put that person on the back burner. You're not making, for some, not all of you, some of you made the decision that you don't want it and you want somebody new. Others of you are open to seeing others or meeting somebody new, but you're just putting this person on the back burner because they haven't been coming through for you. They, remember I said, they just don't have, they never had any follow through or they just, even if they did follow through, then they would wind up leaving again. So a lot of you are just like, you're done with that energy. Okay, 
Let's take a look at this new person. See, I like when we have new people reads. I could just see some of you, like your, your fitness trainer, right there behind you as you're raising your leg. <laughs> higher, baby, higher. <laughs> oh, this is hot and steamy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let me see. And I have seen men with female fitness trainers, okay? And I've seen males with male fitness trainers and females with female fitness trainers. Like, it doesn't matter when the spark, mm -mm -mm. you go for what, whatever floats your boat. Whoever your preference is, that's what you're going to have here. I don't know who I'm talking to, so I just can't go, I can't be specific. All right, this new person balance. One person giving too much in this relationship. Um, hmm. I feel like it's this new person is really going to be giving themselves, like, remember I said voluntary, voluntary, helping you, trying to help you, doing a little bit extra, uh, you know, to help you or, or just... I kind of feel like um, I just saw someone with a with a golf with a golf club, and someone's standing behind behind them, helping them swing. That kind of thing, going like like you know, being that close. I don't know. I'm sure you guys can. I just keep getting images like are you working out with someone, and that trainer's really close. This sounds like a freaking porno. <laughs> Hey, whatever floats your boat. It's just like somebody being really close to you and, and really like, you guys, I'm telling you, there's like really getting close here. But not this person is not going to cross the line with you like the other person. This person is not because they're going to maintain professionalism. But you're going to pick up on it that they're interested in you. This person is not going to be disrespectful. Okay, this is going to be your marriage partner. This is the one. This is the one. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward into new love. I feel like some of you are going to meet somebody, if you haven't already met them, where you guys are doing the same thing. Your lives are in alignment. You're on the same page with this person. You both are liking the same things. You're interested. You, you, you know, you, you might meet during a marathon. If somebody's running a marathon, I just heard, um, with other people as well. Um, this could be a coach for some. In a sport. If you play in some kind of a sport. Obsession. Ooh, this person, like, this is what it turns to. That's what I'm saying. As, as you become better, as you get better, as you get more skilled, as you start becoming more in shape, as you start gaining your confidence back, whatever you're doing, this person becomes more and more wowed by you the longer you're spending time with them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Addiction. <laughs> this becomes a very obsession and an, you're my obsession. Who do you want me to be to make you sleep with me? There you go. That's what a little bit of this is happening here. Okay. Um, flirtation, fun, fun, sexy times. I feel like a lot of it too, it just feels good. Like a lot of it is just going to be you being heavily distracted by someone who's tremendously attracted to you and also is really loving you and digging you and wants to spend time with you, but also wants to help you. Like you guys have a common goal or a common purpose. Abundance, you've done the work. Yeah, abundance flows to you now. That's what I mean. This feels like a, a lot of work that you're going to be doing here. And it feels like it's going to pay off. And then like everything starts coming to you. I just kind of feel like this other person is just, I don't know. I just feel like they're kind of watching you just to see, see if they can get a glimpse of what's going on. Some of you can start posting stuff, showing your changes and all. And this person is there. I feel like they're watching or they're looking or seeking to see 
um, what changes you've made. I, I'm not really, well, actually, you know what? There is jealousy. This person has a jealous streak, but you're not gonna see the jealous streak in them. Or they're not they're not gonna be feeling it at this time because they're not gonna know that there's another person. So the jealousy isn't gonna be there. But they do have a jealous streak, like naturally. That King of Pentacles in the reverse is a very jealous person. So if they do see you with somebody or if they find out like some of you could just be like i'll give you an example like say you're you're working out and you're losing weight and you're getting in really good shape and you're getting toned and you could be like putting yourself out there a bit so that's all they see maybe you're posting pictures of your food your salad you're making certain foods maybe you have like i don't know your protein shakes and whatever you're doing and so this person, your past person, just is seeing that. I, if you're doing that now, or will be, there's, that's what they're seeing. But then as soon as that picture comes up with you and your, your, your coach or your trainer or whomever else, and it's innocent because you guys become friends, like I said, um, and it's innocent, and you're both doing something together, then this person sees that and they're like, aha, and then they start, you know, the tapes start running in their head and they start getting jealous and they think you're with this person. And is there some flirtation or whatever? Are you feeling good? Yeah. But is it official? No. But then this person is now, then they really start wanting you when they see you with somebody else. So that's not advice for you to do that. If that's something that you want to do, that's up to you. And if you don't, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen, the, what I'm picking up here. Let me see. What other messages here? Wealth, health, and abundance. That's what's coming to you. Okay, Virgo. Things are looking good. You're just investing in yourself. And that's good. Every little bit each day. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Get some vitamin D. Play with your kids. You're going to be so happy. Do something fun and enjoy your life. The energies are strong and powerful. And all of the world is your play place. So I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of playing <laughs> with somebody new. Hey, speed and travel. Okay. So the energy of this card feels like um, these changes that you're making um, are going to start showing very quickly. Okay. As soon as you get started, whatever changes you're making, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever you're making, these things are going to start happening very quickly. People are going to start noticing these changes in you a lot faster than normal, okay? Because I feel like you're really going to be putting your energy and effort and going hard at this. And the more you put in, the more you'll get out, right? Um, you might be traveling a little bit as well. Be careful of like traveling in a vehicle, like be careful speeding. I just want to say, because I feel like some of you might be getting a ticket um, or something. Just be careful of getting a speeding ticket. That's just like a side message for somebody here. Let me see. What else? Okay, bossy male. Okay, or female. This person is coming in with that Mars energy. This person is um, very bold, charming, powerful type, courageous. Uh, feisty they have salt like high levels of self-confidence self-assurance it could be you that this energy is starting to happen to you after you really start getting out of your comfort zone getting into the groove of your glow up you start getting like <laughs> telling everybody else what to do now for the timid virgos the hermit types coming out of your shell a lot of you which is good okay there's negative thinking here and then there's a love offer. So some of you, listen, I know you're, <clears throat> sorry, I know like some of you right now just kind of do go into default negative thinking, like no one's ever going to offer me my, their love again, or it's just not going to happen for me. Or I'm never going to meet anybody. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. That is bullshit. Once you get out there, listen, as soon as you stop paying attention to everybody else, start investing in yourself and becoming your best self, 
Okay, that negative thinking just disappears and the love offer comes in. Okay, that's how that works. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. That's how that works. I haven't been on this planet for this long and not experienced these things. Trust me, your negative thinking keeps the love offers from coming in. So get out there. One thing Virgo needs to do, less thinking, more walking. You need to take on that fiery energy. Less analyzing, less thinking about things, less overthinking things. As soon as you feel like if you're gonna over if you're gonna overthink anything, overthink positive thinking. Okay? Because Virgo, listen, nobody can tell you not to overthink and overanalyze something. It's just your nature, it's how you are. But people can tell you what you need to be thinking about. Okay, so as soon as that negative thoughts start coming in, you need to flip them upside down and start obsessing about the positive thoughts. Overanalyze those. Don't waste your time on the negative thinking because that has an effect on you. When, you. when you start thinking positively, you start believing God or spirits there to help you or higher power, and you start having faith and trusting, you get a little pep in your step. You start feeling better about your life. And this person whom I feel is going to be in your life very soon, if not already, is really going to start seeing these changes in you. Not this past person, because they are seeing it, but I feel like you're all about you right now, and I feel like you're going to be really attracting someone as you make some huge changes in your life here. Some of you might be getting some cosmetic surgery, or you're getting some... Some might be getting gastric bypass, or you're, so you're doing something for your health, you're making yourself better. Um, this person who's connecting to you, they know all about this. And I feel like they're gonna be like a friend and a, support, a supporter for you, but also love comes out of this, which is very beautiful. Deeply loving male or female, okay? That could be you guys, or that could be this person, but they're going to be significant. Somebody here is going to be significant to you. Test of faith and boundaries. Here you go. You're definitely going to be tested at this time. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy. Okay, you've got the self card. Take a look at yourself. Add up the pros and cons. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself up. Live and let live. That's good advice. It's all about you. Okay, you're definitely going to be... See, I told you. Expect sweet text messages from somebody new. You could you could be receiving them from your past person, but um, I feel like if you're getting these types of messages from your past person and something ended, I feel like these... The, these are better saved for people you're just beginning to get to know not someone that you've been with for a long time and then they dumped you and they're coming back with this shit like no that's a bunch of crap <laughs> right only if you were with someone for a long time in the past and then all of a sudden out of the blue they just text you i love you i miss you like the fuck out of here <laughs> with that <laughs> get over it right? You're moving on, okay? The, the, your past person ought to be coming back with, honey, listen, I really screwed up. I want to try to rebuild our relationship again. What can I do? They can't be coming in with these sweetness. This is this is flirt flirtation, okay? This should be coming from somebody new, not, not your past person, because then they got a lot of nerve coming in with those sweet text messages with you after they either dumped you or neglected you. Like that, mm-mm block this is somebody new that's coming in here that the flirting starts and it's going to be along the lines of like hey i know you just left but uh you you forgot to sign this paper uh can you come in real fast can you come back real fast and then they send you like a little kissy face emoji okay or um Hey, I know you're supposed to be here, or we have an appointment at like 8. Do you think you could come at 7.30? Or do you think you could stay a little longer? I have something else I want to show you or talk to you about. It's that kind of stuff. This person starts prolonging. 
They want to try to get more time with you. But be professional. <laughs> like, I don't feel like they're going to ask you out on a date right away. I feel like this is something beautiful that's growing. So enjoy it. Because your focus right now is on you, and that's where it needs to stay. And I feel like I like this person who's like that with you because they have a job to do. You have a job to do. A lot of you aren't going and doing whatever you're doing because you're looking for love. You're doing because you're looking to love yourself, and then you find love, or it finds you. But don't get off course right? If you've got a plan and a strategy and you have some goals, make sure you're reaching those goals and you're accomplishing those goals. Don't get sidetracked by love. Don't get sidetracked by any exes or anything like that. Get your goals finished, okay? Because this, this person is going to wait, okay? And they want to, you got to go in there with them and let them see the changes, right? And let yourself see the changes. All right, Munology card. A new start is coming. See, this is so awesome. A lot of you are just getting free. And you I'm so proud of you, Virgo. Just doing your thing. You're just doing you. I love it. That's what you should be doing. When you're out of a relationship or when something's not working out or it's over or whatever happened, the last thing you want to do is be grieving for 10 years. You got to take your time to cry. You got to get connected with your friends, but you got to get right back up on that horse and start working on yourself. And it's, you know, because when you're in a relationship, then it, it, relationships are about two people. It's, you know, now it's not just you yourself you're thinking of. Now it's the other person. Well, when that person's gone, now you've got more time and you're, you've got your time and your energy back. And so now you start using your time and energy wisely. Okay, so you can attract new love in your life. What am I doing what am I looking for? Oh, your advice. So get out there, Virgo. Start really, really, really working on self, making yourself better. Eating healthier, exercising, um, massage, um, you know, whatever. Whatever you got to do. Things that make you go, hmm, I like me today. I'm really loving me. I'm loving me some Virgo. <laughs> All right, what's your advice? Oh, okay, you have the five of wind. Okay. All right. Some of you, listen, this card, it says there's an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. I want to tell you, some of you are going to be getting a reach out from your past person. What did I say? Don't get sidetracked. Stay focused on what you're doing. Okay? Um, because this person lacks integrity, morals. Their motives are questionable. Some of you just cannot trust this person. And that's the whole reason you're in the situation you're in right now. You go back to that person or respond or stay with, or, you know, return. Listen, exes are exes for a reason. You go back to that person or, you know, who's doing leftovers here? I mean, I, listen, I think Chinese food this second day is always better than the first time it comes out. But honestly, like, that's Chinese food. I mean, listen, exes are exes for a reason. So I feel like you guys... This person, you let them back into your life, you're going to get sidetracked because for some of you, this person, you know, they're going to come in with those sweet text messages and tell you, Virgo, I love you. And I can't stop thinking about you, Virgo. I just, I wish I had treated you better. Okay. It's so hard for me. I want you so much. I got to bury myself in my work just to keep from thinking about you. I know I crossed the line with you. I hope you can forgive me. And I, I just want us to be together again. Watch out for that. Point blank period. Because it's a bunch of bull. That's nothing but lies. <laughs> Watch out for that. It's nothing but lies. 
that's I'm lonely I feel sorry for myself it's all about me it's not about you Virgo and Virgo you gave me everything I wanted in the past you're always there for me and I want you back because nobody else gives it to me as good as you do or did and now I'm missing that watch out for that Virgo and eh. wrong answer all right let me see another advice five of wands oh my gosh no five of cups so you know what virgo this message here for you it's interesting you have two fives some of you might be seeing five 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 um but this is change uncertainty and realignment this is your freedom okay five is always a number of like unmanageability so this feels this mostly feels to me like um you guys got to take the loss take the l from this past thing just take the l and keep it moving so you can win the next the next round or the next game okay just take the l with this person don't stew you still have yourself okay grieve if you need to grieve let it go and keep moving forward but I'm, I'm, I will tell you, some of you, sometimes you, you, sometimes you go back and forth with the next quite a few times before you finally hit rock bottom with somebody. Um, and I feel like some of you, you may have a few more rounds to go with this person. And if that's the case and you're going to take them back, you know, hey, listen, no lesson is taught best except for life experience. So no matter what I say, some of you got to just see for yourselves and if that's what you got to do you got to do but others have done that and they're like uh-uh that's it <laughs> and there's the king of wands here motivational inspiring theatrical ambitious take a leadership role in your life virgo step into the spotlight keep your eyes on the big picture communicate your vision don't be sensitive to criticism whoever's coming in here to help you um, you know it's it's proper critique to help you improve you know what I'm talking about because you guys understand that okay but you got to take a leadership position in your life all right let's get your charms okay oh you have it oh I told you guys this is little Cupid, little Cupid angel. I told you, Cupid's arrows are going to hit. They'll hit. They'll come. They're coming with this person. Um, so start, get, get your, listen, even if you don't want to go, if it's like going to the gym or working out, even if you don't want to, just start going so that you can open yourself up to meeting this person who's going to be coming in or go get yourself a trainer for something because I, I feel like there's going to be a spark there if you haven't done that already. For some, it's an Aries. For others, it's a Taurus. Somebody new, not your past person, okay? Um, um, for others, if you're, if you're wanting your past person back, it could be an Aries or a Taurus, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there for you guys. But, hmm. Ooh, I just heard... Oh, what do you call it? Oh, I just I just saw um oh my god, are you kidding? I just saw uh, I just saw a vision. I get visions. That's how I'm able to channel. I just saw a vision of Robert De Niro in um a movie called Raging Bull. Raging Bull. That was a fighting movie. Who was that about? Rocky Marciano. I think it was a movie about him or something. And um I don't know. I don't know why that I don't know why that came up I mean we do have like a we do have like a bull here but raging bull I don't know maybe some of you are gonna be like Rocky Marciano Rocky Marciano and be like a fighter or something or you're gonna start getting your gloves on and, and fighting here or like uh what do they call those uh over in Spain where they have the bull the bullfight and they get the red flag I forget listen if I'm to call something up I can't remember what it's called but I have the image in my mind you know with a matador and, and what have you okay 
Again with the Christmas tree. I don't know what the deal is with the Christmas tree. But I'm just going to, all I'm picking up from that right away, so first thing I'm saying is, um, this person could be a Capricorn, could be an earth sign you're connecting with, or air, whatever, they're all over the place, but expect, um, so as far as competing your, completing your goals, I'm feeling like around the end of December going into January, whatever this goal is you have. Okay, there's something magical happening around Christmas. Gee, it might just be that it's Christmas. That's magical. Okay, ooh, somebody's name might be Grace. This new person you might meet, their name might be Grace. Okay, all right, so you have a fork. So that means watch your eating. And again, I saw that fish bone. And that really is just telling me, like, start eating more fish, healthy fish and vegetables. I know some of you are like, I don't like fish. Okay, well, eat chicken then. Okay, I'm not taking that, but I am taking this. So we've got a pentacle here. I told you, earth sign. Okay, pentacle represents earth, which represents the physical. So all of this is a physical thing that's happening here. Okay, so I know there's a percentage of you who are not going to the gym, you're not going to work out, you're not doing bodybuilding competitions or just body or whatever. That's fine. So I know some of you can't do that, maybe based on age or injuries or whatever, it doesn't matter. It could be other things that you're doing. Um, but even if you're able to just, if you're in a wheelchair, just lift your arms up and down 20 times. Okay, if you can't do anything majorly physical or, or exert yourself, go for a nice 10 minute walk around the block, anything. But this has to do with the physical, okay? Um, physical abundance. Some of you might be training or you might learn to become fitness trainers yourselves in the physical or become a trainer of something for mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health, okay? It'd be, it would be very good money. You're gonna, you guys will make very good money at it. Um, let me just give you a couple of dates. I'm not going to pull any more charms, but I want to give you... Okay, so I'm hearing... Now, these dates could be... However they're significant to you, you can leave me a comment and let me know. I'm hearing May 5th. Hold on. June 2nd, May 5th and June 2nd, okay. Um, September 13th, March 8th, July 9th, July 11th. Oh. Something happened. Something's definitely occurring November 2021. This this year, before this year is up. It might be um, November 6, 2021. Okay. So what, next month? Or a few more, next week? A few more weeks? Okay. Um, we have April 5th. June 16th, September 7th, uh, September 3rd, the 8th and the 9th. Okay. And then we've got um, August 3rd, August, August 3rd. Seventh, eighth, and ninth, and August twenty first, twenty sixth, to giving me the twenty fifth and the twenty second of August. Okay, August fifth, twenty second, twenty sixth, twenty fifth. I think that's what I said. 
yeah so those are the dates and i don't i don't know how that's gonna because <laughs> that's i'm gonna get going i don't know how that's gonna resonate for you it could be birth dates it could be significant it could be anniversary dates it could be uh significant dates for you or your person or it could be dates coming up for some of you where something like these are significant dates that mean something to you or will mean something to you going forward okay virgo so i hope that you guys enjoyed that i really hope that going through the holidays that you guys really try to stay in tip-top shape because i know virgos you're all about the hygiene you're all about looking good, feeling good, feeling fresh, so fresh and so clean. I know you guys are all about that. And, you know, get yourself some nice smelling uh, lotions or soaps um, or colognes for the men or shaving uh, after, sha like after lotions for your, after you shave. Um, you know, start making your home smell good smell fresh and clean i just feel prepared i just heard prepare your home start preparing your home for the holidays and do like um a spring cleaning in the fall or you know as the season begins to change because i feel like you're going to be having a guest or some guests from someone coming soon or you may be meeting someone and inviting somebody over to your home um i mean don't let strangers in your house virgo because you don't know who's out there these days don't let strange people let people you know like i feel this might be more like friends but not anybody i'm just i'm just getting this energy like just be careful who you make sure you really vet people before you let them in your home make sure that you have known them for a while um or that you feel like you've the background check checks out or you feel like you can trust them and if you feel that way then you know but just make sure that you're you're very careful i mean you can't cover every single base you never know what's gonna happen i'm not predicting anything bad is gonna happen here um but just i do feel like maybe you'll have some guests or some friends over it may not be somebody that you don't know so just keep your put yourself in a really good place virgo you'll feel so much better about yourself i know for some of you it's really hard there's a past situation that really broke down broke you down broke your heart um but trust me when i tell you you guys you will overcome it one day you know you got to keep yourself distract distracted you got to get yourself not overthinking negative things about your ex or who you were with or what they did to you or who they're with now right because everybody they you know what everybody gets their karma one way or another and if they do bad if people do bad to others that always comes back to them just start putting out good karma virgo and you know one day at a time you will get through you know whomever of you are struggling trust me one day and i'm speaking from experience you will wake up and you will realize hey i woke up this morning and that person wasn't even on my mind that's when you know that the healing is pretty much done okay if you're waking up or if you're going to bed and you're still thinking about that person then likely the healing is not over yet but it will come it will come where for those of you who are just trying to heal out of that just give your be patient with yourself be compassionate with yourself love yourself there's a process to healing and you may not forget them fully but they will not be occupying your thoughts and you that's when the freedom comes okay virgo so that's a special message for some of my virgo friends there that i feel like really needed to have that um i really needed to hear that so all right you guys again i'm gonna say goodbye again i will see you all tomorrow have a lovely uh rest of well your day or night or whichever and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe down there on the video and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right love you bye